Hi everyone, it's Lisa from BudgetEquestrian.com and today I'm going to show you how I get my barn ready for winter. Winter time in Colorado usually comes early. This year it has been exceptionally late. It's the middle of November and we still don't have any snow and the temperatures have been in the 70s. But this has given me a really good opportunity to do a lot of barn prep and getting ready because I know winter will eventually come. The first thing that I did this year was I added a snow fence to Frisbee's side of the barn. And the reason I did this is because the wind just really whips around on his side of the barn. To, it fills his stall with snow. So I didn't want his stall to be filled with snow. I decided that I was going to make a fence so that Frisbee will actually hopefully have a stall that is just nice with bedding and not snow in it because I hate going out there and seeing snow in his stall every single morning. The next thing that I do is I have a tank water heater and it's time to put that in. I don't have electricity in my barn and I only use one water bucket for the horses so I have to run the electricity down the middle of the stalls and through one of the stalls over to the little red barn where I do have electricity. So trying to figure out how to do this in the least amount of work possible was my goal. And this is, I've done this every year now for the last couple of years and it works really well. So the first thing I do is put in the tank water heater. I wrap the cord around one of the rails that's separating their paddocks into two separate areas. And the reason I do this is because I don't want to have any cords dangling down or loose. And I also secured the electrical cord to the fence panel with some twine because I have lots of twine. After I have that all secured and wrapped so that way the horses can't get caught up in the extension cord, then I have to run the extension cord from the water heater across the front of one of the stalls and out on the other side. So it's not really that difficult, but what I do is basically dig a channel that's deep so that way I can bury the electrical cord and it will not get caught up because this is Ethan's stall and since Ethan tends to be accident prone, I don't want him getting caught up in the extension cord. So I dig a trench and then bury the cord and then I run it along outside of his stall so that it can go over into the barn. I don't know if you saw, but when we were hooking up the lights for the inside of the barn, we actually buried two extension cords. That way everything's buried so when the horses are turned out, they're not going to get caught up in the extension cords. So this is the lights in the barn. And in the first video that I made of this, I only had one strand of lights and it wasn't bright enough. So I ran to Walmart and I actually found a really cool set of lights it's 50 lights and they're really, really bright. So I ran another strand of lights in the barn to make it brighter so I can actually see my horses at night um, and actually spend some time with them. So now that I have the electrical cords all taken care of and the lighting, one of the most important parts of wintertime barn preparation is having water. We don't have a water spigot um, in our barn so I actually have to run a hose from my house all the way over to the barn and it tends to freeze even if you blow out the hoses. So what I did last year and it worked really well is I got one of those new hoses that shrinks down. They're really lightweight. The hose I got it's over, it's a hundred feet long but it's super light so I can connect it to the house and then I can bring it out to the barn. And I wanted to show you what my barn looks like at night so you can see how light and bright it is, which is really nice. Since the time changed in early November, which I was really sad about, I don't get home until after dark. So my husband will feed the horses for me, but then I can't see them. I couldn't do anything. That was why I decided to put the lights up inside the barn. And I am so happy that I did this because even though it's dark outside when I get home, I just go out to the little red barn, plug in my extension cord for my lights for my barn. Then I can go out and spend some time with my horses. I can groom them and just spend, I know it might sound silly, but to me it's quality time. At the end of a really busy day, 
I really like being able to go out and be with my horses, even if it's just for a half an hour. And it also makes it so that I can clean their stalls at night because in the past, even as you know, recent as last year, I wasn't able to clean the barn every single day. But because of these lights, I can do that now. And I'm just so happy to have these lights. If you don't have lights in your barn, but you have the possibility or it would be possible for you to do it, it's a really good idea. Um, you'll get a lot more time with your horses. You can spend some time grooming them. You can work with them even when it's dark outside. This was probably one of the best things that I could have done, in my opinion, for my horses and for myself. It's really nice to be able to go out and see them every day because if I don't go out at night, I kind of have withdrawal. I see them in the morning, but then I don't get to see them at night. So it's like I only get to see my horses once a day and it just makes me sad. So this way I get to see them twice a day, spending time with them, even just working with them. And I think that's good. that helps the relationship with me and my horses. And it also, it's just, it's good for my soul. And even in the winter time, I think it's really important to, you know, be consistent with my horses. I want them to know that I am going to be working with them, even though it's snowing or whatever, even if it's dark, I think they like to know that I'm going to be out there with them and I'm going to be spending time with them. Also, it's good for safety. So when I go out at night and I can groom them, then I can look over them because I haven't got to see them, you know, for the entire day. And I can look at their coats, make sure they didn't have any, don't have any cuts or anything that needs attention. Like I said, I'm just thrilled that I actually have lights in my barn now. It has already made a difference and I'm not dreading winter so much this year. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you again tomorrow.